Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to a brand new episode of WWE Supercard. This is episode 116. In the last episode, we showed the RTG preview, proed up Baron Corbin, then started a King of the Ring, completely forgot about it, and now I'm like 6 and 8, but I'll show you guys that in a second. We still have to level up our Baron Corbin, which I haven't done. It's very stupid of me to start a King of the Ring and then go to bed and then just wake up and then still not remember that I'm in a King of the Ring, and then... Turn on my computer, open blue stacks, I'm like, oh, let me open YouTube up, let me just chill, uh, you know, and I'll record a video in a bit, and then I'm like, fuck, I go on Supercard, and I'm like, wait, fuck, starts the King of the Ring, I go on my King of the Ring, and I was literally like zero energy on everyone, so I quickly energized, 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 energized up, and uh, and hopefully we can, we can do well, I think, I won my first six, five games, I'm sorry, I won my first five games in the King of the Ring, and then we just lost a lot, and then we just won our last one, like, not energized at all, which was really funny, but, um, yeah, I think we can do good in this King of the Ring, just because I did win my first five games, and, uh, you know, so that's pretty good, and if I would have been energized, I probably would have won a lot more, so, looking maybe positive, this King of the Ring so far, I mean, I do have now a nice amount of WrestleMania pros, I do, obviously, people obviously have more than me, but I do have a nice amount of WrestleMania pros. I think something that I really need to get is a WrestleMania Pro Diva, that is really what I need to get, because my Diva tag, female tag, is probably the low, the low point of my deck right now, um, Bailey and Bailey and uh, Carmella. So hopefully maybe I can get, I've already got Bailey. that's the only diva right now I've got, but hopefully we can get a bit lucky, or maybe the next, maybe the next event, uh, we had what, Goldberg, Shane O'Mac, Bret Hart, and then Alexa Bliss, right, so maybe, maybe we'll have a female in a little bit, which would be really cool, uh, hopefully she's a up or down arrow, if she's a left arrow, that would be okay as well. I hope she's not a right arrow, or is it? I don't know. I need. To, I, I would need to have a look. I forgot what Alexa Bliss is. Damn it. Uh, I think Alexa Bliss is a left arrow. Ugh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I always get it mixed up. So let's have a quick look in a bit. But yeah, currently doing the RTG grinds. You guys can tell. I'm um, just gonna be not gonna be a cr well. It might. I, I want to do a long episode, but I'm um, expecting people walk in my room at any second now also this video might be interrupted abruptly but let's have a quick look at our king of the ring and then we'll get into a couple more games of rtg so yeah i am six and eight i did win that last game i was like completely not energized in this game and i still won 5-0 which is pretty good um this guy probably is a bot i'm i'm guessing yeah he is a bot but look at that look look at his female tag Look at all those WrestleMania pros. He's a, he is a bot, as you guys can tell. Um, he's got the epic, and I think that's a legendary, yeah, legendary support. He's got in, uh, incompatible tags. It's not compatible here. Definitely a bot. I'm not exactly sure how many bots we've got in this King of the Ring. Hopefully, we've got a lot of bots in this King of the Ring, but it's looking like there aren't that many. Uh, let's have a quick look at the standings. I'm not in the yeah. I'm not right for right now. If it ends like this, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be qualified. But we should be okay. Honestly, we should be okay. I'm guessing. Um, who's number one? Kyora, twelve two. Have I played against him? I have literally the last game. Okay. Um, I would have won that as well if I was fully energized, but. Uh, charisma, charisma, charisma. That would have been a win, considering I got Jericho. Yeah, that would have definitely been a win in charisma. I would have won that if I was fully energized, because he is obviously not fully energized. I would have probably won that. Yeah, I would have won that as well. And I would have won. Th I would have won that. Yeah, I would have won that. And I would have won that as well, because it's the same card. And if I'd have been fully energized, but. We've got, got, he's got some good cards, I've got some good cards, it's, it, could be, it could be very close actually, it could be very close, but as you guys can see, I have energised everyone for the next couple games, so yeah, no, okay, so she is, she is a left arrow, um, a right arrow would be fine then, uh, as a, um, as a, a female event card, but I'd rather an up arrow, I think, an up arrow would be pretty cool, I could put her in the tank, or, oh, but maybe, no, actually, maybe, what I would do, if it's not, if it's not, like, yeah, if it's an up or a down, maybe I'd put Alexa Bliss and Nia Jax Ultimate Pro in the tag, and then put that Ultimate Pro, sorry, the uh, WrestleMania 33 
pro female in the solo, I think that's maybe what I'd do. But anyway, we need to up, uh, level up this Baron Corbin so he can actually be properly used in this King of the Ring because that will help us out a lot as well. So just gonna go give we'll, we'll give him. Let's actually not give him Randy. We'll give him Roman, Miz, Roman again, Kevin. No, let's not give him those. Actually, I'll use these for my next couple of fusions. Let's give him Ryan. Let's give a, let's give him Rhino. And if he needs more, we'll give him like a Brock Lesnar or something. Let's just see how much that will do already. Level forty three. Um, next, we'll give it. We'll give him now. We'll give him Carl Anderson, Brock Lesnar. Let's see how that goes. He's level fifty two. It's pretty decent. Let's just go ahead and select all cards. And go with all my uncommons and all of that. He's now a level almost level 54. Enhancements that should get him to 54, maybe halfway through 50. No, it just got him to 54. Okay, so he's got one more level to go, but that's pretty good already. Obviously, he's power toughness. So let's get that empowering toughness. His charisma not that bad. His speed is pretty bad though, so we'll put it in the proc and we'll go ahead and confirm that. Brilliant. Uh, let's see if that picture looks good. Ah, oh, it's got the blue outline. It doesn't, it doesn't look awful. I, I would go as far as saying it doesn't look awful. I would say... Yeah, I think his WrestleMania his WrestleMania looks the best, actually. Yeah, that one, that one definitely looks really cool. So, we'll, we'll leave that on. And hopefully we can do well. So, we have now pretty much a full male a WrestleMania 33 Pro deck. Apart from, obviously, Chris Jericho, Mankind. But Brock Lesnar will come in eventually as well. Brock Lesnar's an up arrow, isn't he? So... We're going to have an, an abundance of up arrows, which is unfortunate, but what we'll do is I'll swap Jericho and uh, and James Ellsworth, and we'll put Brock Lesnar instead of James Ellsworth, and yeah, Chris Jericho will leave. That means Mankind will be my last card. He's not the best, but it's because he's a right arrow that he'll just stay in the deck for now. Unless, unless we get another WrestleMania 33 Pro, because we do have a lot of singles now. In this RTG, as you guys know, it is uh, Dean Ambrose, which is another single, but I'm not too bothered because I do have a lot of singles now, and it's by probably the next event. It should give me a pro because I really have. But look, Brian Kendrick is that one card. I'm like, oh, I really need a, Bri a Brian Kendrick so I could have like really the bad, the kind of lower, the lower tier card singles uh, in the, well, the tier, but the lower, the the worst cards. Let's put it this way because I got Cedric Alexander. Um, I got Rich Swan, I got Rusev, I got Neville, I got Ty Dillinger, Braun Strowman, uh, James Ellsworth, you know, all of those. So, yeah, Brian Kendrick is kind of the only one left. And then I have, like, the top ten, uh, well, the, the bottom ten uh, WrestleMania cards, which is pretty cool. Well, and it's pretty cool, it's not, well... It, hope, I wish they would have continued giving us bad cards, because then that would've, there would have been a load of pros. So yeah, for the team, by the way, guys, um, I know I got more comments, and again, oh, someone left. I accepted someone into the team, and then someone left. Did Franklin leave? No. Who left? Wait, what? D2, VZH, Sarah, Flame. Who left the team? Who left the team? Who let the dogs out? Woof, 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 woof. So who left? Who left? Who left? That's really weird. Who the hell left? Franklin's still in the team. VZH. Aaron. I'm leaving this team. What the fuck? Okay. Okay. Aaron left, I think. Did Aaron leave? Yeah, Aaron left. Okay. Okay, uncalled. Well, he can leave, obviously, but the, I'm leaving this team. What the fuck? Uh, mate, alright? Alright, we missed out on one card, it's all good. It's all good, I'm not too bothered about it. It was it's, it was only Roman Reigns. Now honestly, sure, I'd have loved to have it, but I can understand that we, you know, our team, yeah, our team, it was a bit disappointing. Um, I was disappointed as well in the event, to be fair, I didn't even get the 420 points, but... For now, we'll blame, we'll blame D2, even though he does have a good excuse for not playing. Um... Yeah, that's definitely good enough to, to join. So let's go and accept you, man, into the team. And now we've got a full team again. Brilliant. So yeah, for everyone who keeps saying, can I please join your team? Or in the video I did a couple of days ago and I was like, yeah, we've got some team spots available. And then everyone... No, and then as well, I said in the video, if you're not on WrestleMania++, please don't be like, oh yeah, I got so many points in RTG or so many shards. Please let me join. I'll really grind, I promise, or this or this. 
it's 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 just a thing. We can't we can't have too many lower team players. We've already got one, and it's already hard enough to use those cards. Well, it's not that hard actually. It's definitely doable. But if we have another low an, another no, a low tier member in the team, it will obviously get much harder. And it's it's already hard enough as it is. So yeah. For everyone, I, I know I know it's frustrating. I know maybe I, if I was in your place, I'd love to join uh, teams who are higher up. But that's just not how it kind of works in Supercard. You know, you need to join teams of your tier. Yes, I know we've got KK in our team, but I'm just helping her out get some good cards because she's an absolutely awesome person and she's really active in my streams and my videos. So and Discord and she's just an awesome person. So I am helping her. Uh, for now, I will be helping other people in the future. We'll play this team ring dom. Um, and then maybe I'll talk to Keiki about um, about making that spot available for someone else, or maybe we'll keep her for another couple of events. But I've still got Manny, Manny who still has still um, is going to join the team next because I still promised him the next spot because of when the update came out for us on 33 tier, we had to kick him from the team and he didn't actually play an event, so he will so he gets a spot as well. And then we'll probably start doing some more raffles for let to let some lower tier members join. And if you guys again are just keep asking me in the comments, the more the more I see the same people, or the just the yeah, the same group of people keep asking, "Can I join your team? Can I please join your team?" I'm hard and plus, I'm summer slam, I'm elite, I'm ultimate plus, but I grind. So all those kind of people, just look. Um, I will be doing some more raffles where some lower team members can join. But the more you guys ask about it, the less I'm going to be willing to choose you guys, and just choose some people who are just low key about it and who are just chill about it, because that's kind of what I want to do. It's not meant to be. Yeah, I don't, I don't want all my comments always spammed with the exact same comments, can I join your team? I wanted to make a team because I want it to be fun and I wanted to just, yeah, I wanted to let a bit of an opportunity as well for you guys to come join. And I have, there's 10 people in the team, you know, so, so yeah, alright, we'll leave it at that. But yeah, RTG, let's just go ahead and finish this game off and we'll end the episode here. Lo uh, well, not, you know, just played some RTG uh, in, this, in this episode, but... Yeah, um, oh, I still need to do my WrestleMania Raw and SmackDown review. So let me quickly, quickly go over that right now. So we'll start off with WrestleMania. Um, as I said in the last or the episode before that, I thought it was a really good episode. Uh, episode. I thought it was a really good WrestleMania. Honestly, it was good. So we started off with AJ versus Shane O'Mac, which everyone thought it was going to be a shit match, or everyone thought it's just AJ deserved a better opponent. And even I think, yes, I think AJ should have had... Uh, a bigger match, uh, even possibly being in the main event against a much bigger opponent. Yes, fair enough. But I was just happy to get AJ at Mania. The match delivered. Shane was fantastic in the match. Now I don't hate Shane at all. I think he really, um, he really does well when he needs to. He's been in some amazing matches in his career, and he's not a wrestler. So it's I know like props to him, he did really well in the match, AJ obviously did phenomenally in the match, I think, yeah, Shane did get a little bit too much offence off on, on AJ, because AJ is the best wrestler in the world right now, in my opinion, and maybe in a lot of your guys' opinions, um, and if it's not AJ Styles, well, you know, it's, I don't know, it's maybe Kenny Omega, I don't know, you know, it's up to you guys, but he's definitely one of the best right now on the active, you know, on an active roster, so... Yeah, but maybe, maybe a bit too much offense uh, from Shane, but on the on the whole, it was a great match. The coast to coast, um, the shooting star press, all of that was fantastic. Really enjoyed the match, and uh, yeah, for now I'll leave it at that. You know, one match at a time. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Drop a like on it if you have. Thank you guys so much for all the support recently. Been getting obviously all the likes back on our videos instead of all those dislikes. So yeah, really appreciate it. Thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you in the next episode of them. Peace out and take care.